My name is James Easter, and I'm the owner of the Mayberry Music Center. We've been here about roughly 25 years. One of these days. Located in downtown Mount Airy, the music store is known for its down-home music jams. Come and pick with the legendary gospel singer, James Easter. So the, uh, Elvis Presley had just come out and they were interviewing him in New York City and asked him what he liked off records. What, what do you listen to off records? He said, well, there's a little group in North Carolina right now called the Easter Brothers and I've got their first single, and that's my favorite number. And the first connection we had was King Records in Cincinnati, Ohio. That was the biggest country music label with George Jones, Patsy Clowns, people like that, you know, it was on that label. The president of that company heard us sing uh, a, a song. He called us in his office and said, I'll put you on top. He said, I've been looking for a harmony at three three brother harmony that you've got play and playing the instruments you're playing. Russ played the banjo and Ed played the mandolin and I played the guitar. That record company offered them a major contract, but it was to sing country music. The three brothers had something else in mind. If you'll sing love songs, we told them it was already singing the greatest love song that you could sing. And that's about who else died for you. And he said, you know what? I agree with y'all, but they said that's not what the, where the money's at, that's not where the fame's at, that's not where, what the world wants. We said we know that before we made this decision. God saved us, and we're going to stick to gospel music, whatever it takes, do whatever you can for it. The Easter Brothers, uh, they have three Dove Awards. That's the highest award you can get in gospel music. They're known all over the world. We can look behind you all the Dove Awards and stuff that they've won down two years. They didn't get the recognition that the country western artists did but because they only done gospel. To help spread his gospel ministry in the late 90s, James decided to open a music store in his hometown of Mount Airy. There's a lot of good things happen in here. We play a lot of music, a lot of, there's a lot of ministry done in here. Uh, a lot of people, you know, come here looking for James. They know this is where they'll find him. I've played in bunches and bunches of places. I've played since I was six years old. And uh, these music stores like this are, are getting fewer and fewer and far between. Sometimes there's places you can't even try out before you buy. Here you can try out and, and sing songs and uh, just a, a great place to come. If you don't know how to play an instrument, then sign up for a lesson. Learn a few notes, then jump in and hang on. But you come in here, you feel welcome from the time you step in the door. It's just good to, to fellowship and, and get everybody in here together. And uh, like I said, it's James Little Church, and so we talk about Jesus in here. Some people still come to town and don't realize that the Easter Brothers were born and raised here, and they'll come in here and, and spend a big part of the day in here with us, and we'll pick and and uh, we'll jam some for them, and, and they'll tell us, they'll say, this was our favorite part of the whole trip. And that, of course, that makes our day. Mayberry's Music Center is at 117 North Main Street in Mount Airy, and it's open Monday through Saturday. For more information, give them a call at 336-786-4713 or visit them online at mayberrysmusiccenter.com. <laughs>